what are you willing to do to survive? At what extremities are you willing to degrade your humanity? To feed off the carcass of another, to devour your brother's flesh in order to see tomorrow. Now, when you watch this film, it's a certain tear jerk. It's a survival film. But when you grasp the whole point that this is based on true events, that this happened, this is not exaggerated, this is not scripted, this happened to people. People survived this, people lived through this. That's when you begin to know that people do anything to survive. Sometimes people will survive where there is, seems like it's not even, what's the point of trying to survive? Now, in 1972, flight 571 crashed while living, leaving rather, while leaving Uruguay to go to Chile for a rugby tournament, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this plane had 45 people, five crew members and 40 other people in there. Now this plane crashed in the Enders Mountains, if I'm saying that right. And after 72 days in the wilderness, 16 people survived. 16 people out of 45. Now granted, some of them didn't make the first day, but they survived 72 days in the wilderness. Surrounded by snow, surrounded by cold, lack of sunshine, lack of water. Granted, they drank you know, they melted snow and drank it. But bear in mind, the body cannot survive long without, you know, food. They didn't have jackets. They didn't have sweaters. They didn't have blankets. And they're in the snow. The snow. And they have to survive the conditions. They, they get covered by an avalanche at one point. They get buried under piles of snow. They have to dig from their grave, dig themselves to survival. And you're not even gonna look at the fact that these people at a point have to had to go cannibalistic. They had to eat one another to survive. That's deep. Now this is not some cannibalistic freak show where people just eating random people because they they find human flesh desirable. No, this is men had to live. Now, when you think about this, the first guy who presented this idea, let's eat that guy's flesh. And the other's like, man, you crazy, we're not doing that. But one by one, they did it. One by one, they did it, they survived. Now, if I put myself in that situation, do you think I would survive with my skin tone? I don't know. I don't want to act, oh, I wouldn't survive. I'd survive lived in the sun my entire life I don't think I would have they'd probably eat my flesh the first day when you think about this and then when you think that society of the snow is based on true events that's when you know that life is an incredible thing life is breathtaking that you gotta live every moment like it's your last. Cause you could just be on a plane thinking you'll be back the next day and then boom, you're gone. You're not gonna see your family. You're not gonna see your kids. You're not gonna see your friends, your girlfriend, none of that. You're just gone. Just like that. All because of bad weather, bad what, whatever it is, you know. And aside from the story, if you just look at the cinematography of this, usually when I rate movies and shows, I look at the script, if it's well written, was I entertained? Was my attention grabbed? Did I deviate? Did I get bored? Did I get sleep? I look at these things. And this here didn't give me that. I wasn't sleepy. I wasn't bored. I was intrigued. I wanted to know what would happen next. How is this going to go down? Will these guys survive. Now, obviously, if this based on true story, they're gonna somebody's gonna survive, but how many are gonna survive? 
That's the first question I had. How are these people going to survive? Oh my God, these people started eating each other. I was left in awe. I was shocked. But when I, once I move away from the humanity and just look at this script, look at how it was well crafted, how it was well presented. This was beautiful. Like the first scene on the plane crashes. That tumble it takes, it hits the edge of the mountain and it just plummets towards the ground. And as it goes down, it just shreds into pieces, piece by piece, with people inside it colliding, going up and down. Those that didn't have their seat belts being jerked off the damn plane and just falling to the abyss. And when you, when you watch these men that are out there with no means of communication, no means of what, until they find a radio, of course, but they can't even talk to the people on the other side. They can only hear that these people have stopped looking for us. Now imagine that. You you in the wilderness, you hear planes flying, and you know for a fact these people are looking for us. You find a radio, it works. And then why are you still hopeful? Why are you still giving others hope that they'll find us? They're flying here every day. And they stop the search. They stop the search. That means they stop looking for you. Damn. What do you do next? You've been out there for a week. You've been out there for two weeks. You run out of water. Your body needs water. You need food in your body to survive. What are you going to do? And bear in mind, these people are no longer looking for you. They say they're going to continue to search several months later. Now, when they come back for the search, they're not looking for you alive. They're looking for your carcass. They're looking for the black box in the plane to find out what the hell happened to these people. That's what's happening. And 16 of you survive. Then you come back to the day, modern day world. And people are going to be judgmental. You did what? You ain't who splash. And you got to think about What about the parents and the siblings of the other people that they were devoured? Now, granted... These guys made a pact. They started giving consent. You have the, you have the right to consume my flesh when I pack. And the sad part is, when you die, it's not like, when they die, it's not like, oh my God, how, how did he die? The person knows three days, four days prior that my end is nigh. I'm gonna be dead soon. And that's when they give their consent. This is a Spanish delight. This movie is well crafted, well made. I'd give it 20 stars out of 20. I'd give it 100 stars out of 100. I'd give it 10 stars out of 10. I'd give it 5 stars out of 10. This was spectacular. Well acted. I believed it every second. And I love the fact that now they can make 15, they can even make 16 movies out of this. Even a series. They can give they can make an episode on each and every person's perspective. Like, why did this guy seem a little fresher than the others? Is he consuming more flesh than the others? This guy seems more hungry, more skinnier than everybody else. But this guy seems better. He looks fresher. Why? Probably consuming more flesh than the others. Because some of them don't want to consume flesh. And bear in mind, they're eating raw meat here. So, I advise everyone to watch this. This is not some weird shit that you're going to watch and be like, Oh my God, they're eating other people. No. And, of course, towards the end, it seems like these guys are like vultures now. They're pecking the flesh off the bones because there's nothing now. Everybody who's sick, everybody who's died, who's able to die, is dead. Well, they've, they've ran out of rations. Rationing your brother's flesh. Sad indeed. So, I say this and I say this to you, my friend. This movie is worth the minute. It's worth the two hours that it is. So go out there, watch it. I, I promise you, my friend, you will not regret any second your humanity will be tested do you have the stomach to watch this it's not a whole it's just a sad 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 realization that this is time
tough. So the question is, what are you willing to do to survive? How far are you willing to push the envelope? How far are you willing to break the, the, the code, if there is some sort of code? What are you willing to do? These survivalist movies and survivalist books that always come out, that they talk about someone surviving in the wilderness this so many days, eating that, and imagine pissing black piss, fam. Your body's got no water in it. You're deteriorating within the second. Wow. Anyway, folks, that's my review. It's not really a review, it's a summary of the film. I don't know how to spoil it, because 45 people get on a plane. Five are passengers, 40. I mean, 40 are passengers, five are crew members. 16 people survive. How do they survive? They ate the other people. They didn't murder them to eat them. No. They waited. They looked after. The weird part about this is these guys looked after one another. They would look after one, try to get him to survive. It's not like one of those weird films where they, they toss you to the curb so you die and then they eat you. No. They did everything. They tried to feed you. Survive, my brother. We're going to make it. Then you die. Then they eat you. And in the beginning, they, they, they're, they're discreet. One guy sacrifices his mind. He goes out there. He cuts somebody off. And the other ones don't want to see who he's cutting off. Because you don't want to be eating your brother's, your sister, your friend's arm. And be aware that this is Jacob here. This is Marcella. This is Jose. You don't want to do that. But it, in the end, they take the subtlety out of it. And they become vultures. They're packing the meat off. Skeletons. You can see the ribs. Rib cage. And you're like, oh my god. My god, my brothers have struggled. But it's great that they survived. It's great the stories out there. People were probably judgmental when they came out. Some people will be judgmental. How could people do this? How could you survive? Okay, folks, that's my review of Society of Snow. A great Spanish uh, film. Uh, Espanol. It's not actually from Spain, but it's Uruguayan, I'm assuming. So it's got a... Uruguayan people speak Spanish. So it's a Spanish film, I guess. Anyway, folks been a blast hanging out with you so thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and like the video share with your friends and tell me what you think about the film in the comment section can't wait to see what you think and give you a few replies on that bye adios <laughs> now that was entertaining please let us hang out yet another time remember to like and subscribe Adios, folks. Adios.